This is Landrider7, aka LR7, land here in this episode of Web Browsing, where I'm going to check out these sites and also check out some other stuff around both of my sites comparing the two fan bases that I have at this point. Now we're gonna check out the fan bases, or just my fan base. Alright, for instance, I have a total of 46 followers at the time of this video. Chances are the number may increase, may drop, but this is what I got so far. So in SoundCloud, I can tell you a few little things about this. Fans, or followers I should say. So far, I've actually met these guys at a meeting one time. Happened to exchange stuff here and there and they happen to follow me. And I'm not sure how they're doing at this point, but maybe I might get back to them later. Uh, this guy... I found him through Hex, the guys that make their, release their music here and there, and all I did was favorite, and the next thing you know, this guy followed. Other people that I come across, apparently this guy, I believe he was someone I've come across on Facebook, and wanted to do a collab, but never really happened, because stuff stopping them from doing so. And I somehow met this guy through Sour Bratton. I don't exactly remember who who his name is, but he's just the rapper. Yeah, that's that's what I know. And of course, there's the Master Tech CC, another guy I met through Sour Bratton. And uh, who knows what's his the deal with him? And hey, there's this person here. This person had favored my songs a while back, and uh, next thing you know. She makes her own music, but yeah, just some, some stuff here is what she has so far. And let's check out what she liked. Yeah, just a bunch of crap here. Crap there. Other stuff. What do you know? She just favorited one of my other songs. Yep, and that one, one like here. Two from Collab that I made with Epsilon Jackal. And Sound Creative. And... Three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, seven likes, and she followed me. Hmm. Now, what else do we got? Just some more, uh, hey, there's this guy again. How do you appear? Some people I've met in real life. Nah, and these guys followed me through a collab I made with Ruckus Dub. And the next thing you know, I follow them back. Easy as that. Met this guy through a mutual friend with, for some strange reason. And, well, the next thing you know, we came in contact and lost contact. And he's just sitting there in my, in my followers tab. This is the guy that I met back in high school where, where I was once in the band with these guys. Supposedly, they were making their own music with their rap and hip-hop thing with HMI, but unfortunately, I didn't stick around long enough and I end up going my own way. Here's this guy from Sour Bratton. Who knows if I'll come across him. Oh, wait. I think I have. And, of course, there's this infamous Q009. Another person I met through Sour Bratton. And also the guy... The guy who also does Tesseract, and I believe he's the one that also does Solder Enhanced and some other stuff like Cube Create, I believe. He's just been involved with a lot of Cube stuff. That's all I know. And, of course, met this girl through Scars, the guy, the rapper from the UK that I've met. And, of course, there's this guy, Raphael, someone I met in real life. I believe I met him in some meetings one time, and he makes electronic music. That's what I know. And last but not least, there is Rockus Dove. There's this guy. I have not heard from this guy in a long time. Hey, what do you know? He reposted my collab. Jeez, that's quite a while. So there you have it. There's my fan base actually following, and pretty much that's all I can show you from here. However, there's also another following or fans, properly called, over at Reverb Nation. Let's say here in this site, I have some questions about the fans that have been adding me. 
437 fans on this site, by the way. And one new fan at the time of this video. Huh, who's this guy? Who's this person? Is this supposed to be one of those promoting music guys? Probably is. Yeah, let's see here. We got some some comments here. No music. Not all, just some fans, favorite artists. Uh, not a whole lot going on. Yeah, and they're from Illinois, Harvey. I don't think I'd be able to travel over there at this point. Anyways, here are the fans, as you can tell at the time of this video. So as I look here, total of 175 fans, and not counting the ones from Facebook or YouTube. There's a couple of other, other people I wanted to point out. I've actually seen this guy in other profiles. All I know is he makes folk, I think. I don't see why he would like my music. Probably trying to get more fans that way, like follow you and follow me back. And I'm like, got some random people here. Oh, actually, I met this guy through one of my paranormal investigations. I guess he just decided to fan me there. Haven't heard from him since. Who knows what he's been up to. Oh, there's this guy. I keep seeing this guy everywhere. I go whenever on this site. Whenever I go to a, to a page or, a, or an artist page, I keep seeing this guy commenting. Yeah, he makes electronica techno house. Okay, DJ Antonio, if you're seeing this, I just want to say hi and bye. And why? Just just why? That is all. And we also got these other guys. Some really edgy looking fellas. And there's this guy. He just fanned me and he was and asked me to go fan him back and I'm like, "Uh, okay. Am I am I, is this am I supposed to gain something out of that?" But that didn't happen. And I also wanted to try out a testing a comment by going to his page and comment on something. And the next thing you know, he commented back. Okay, so maybe he is human. I don't know. Maybe they're bots. Maybe they're not who they seem to be. That's just commenting on crap here and there. And some local people. And this girl. I can't tell if, if she is a real fan or somebody took a picture or stole it from another site. I would like to find out exactly where this came from. Hmm. Looky here. Beauty.com. Somebody took their picture and pretend to be that person. I can't be too sure if you're real or not, but um, I'll just assume that, that you just took the picture and just plastered it on here. And be like, I'll fan you because I like your music. Or you probably never even heard what I have. I can't even tell. And, of course, there's these couples. Only two songs. And just looking down. And chances are, these guys are yet more irrelevant fans. And, of course, there's this guy that keeps coming, coming to visit my page every now and then. Hello, Smiley. You have been featured on this video. And just... Passing by to say, what's up? And, uh, nice trippy music. Yeah. I'll be jamming to that. And there's, oh, I guess this person no longer exists in this site anymore. And of course, there's this person. I swear, I can't even tell if it's a he or a she. Okay, don't, don't try to, don't get too offended or anything. I'm, I, I just don't know. It, it just, first impression type of thing, I suppose. Just, I can't, I can't even tell. Is, is this supposed to be a girl or a guy? I, I don't know. I, I mean, it's a she? I mean, it, it look, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just like, uh, yeah. I really don't know. Oh, oh crap, there's this guy over here. Weren't you on my uh, fans list? Hey, this pro one looks a little interesting. Makes metal, hard rock, and dance music. Another fan that just decided to add me. For what reason? No idea. Probably to grow more fans that probably don't have the same interests in music. But thanks for the support, by the way. Well, I actually tried messaging this person, but it seems like she hasn't got back to me after about a year or so. I don't know. Apparently she lives nearby. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're still alive or not. You really need help with your video with your video editing skills and possibly some other stuff. I'm just going to stop from here. By the way, nice voice. And of course, this is the this this is the guy that have asked me to do a collab with him. 
well, mostly to take his song called Wine For Me, and all I did was do, do a few mods, change a few sounds here and there, and probably do a little reverse engineering, and I ended up creating my own original mix coming from this guy. And he said he was gonna feature it, but that never happened. Heart of Fire, why you know promote my stuff from a while ago? Why you have to be that way? Whatever. And of course, this guy. Apparently, this guy is currently followed me on, on my Facebook, on my SoundCloud, and here, Indie is what he makes. I don't even know if you have even heard the kind of music I make. I think I'm going to see this guy on more pages around this site. Oh man, actually I decided to, you know, look for some more relevant music that I'm into or similar artists that make similar music. And I come across this guy. I ended up liking his Facebook and next thing you know, contacted me and became friends. Well, we had a decent conversation about some common interests in the music uh, thing. But it seems like I haven't been able to keep in contact and he kind of disappeared on me. I was gonna ask him for a collab, but that didn't happen. And uh, at the time of this video, hey, what do you know? I'm still on his favorites on this site that he no longer uses anymore. And so is he. So many fans, especially irrelevant ones. And of course, another one of those. Yes, another one of those fans. I honestly can't tell if this person is real or not. Is, is this person real? I mean, is there a way to find out? I mean, can somebody help me out here? And this is the guy that tried to message me on SoundCloud that one time, claiming that I was number one in my local town. And uh, some months later, we became collab partners. This guy made a few tracks here and there. So when you have a ch chance, just check him out. I don't think he's going to be making any, any new stuff anytime soon. But yeah, shout out to Rocka Stub, the guy that I collab with. And uh, yeah, there's this guy. I guess I might be seeing him on some profiles, mostly. Did, if he listened to my songs, do, do I know? He claims he does, but do I know that for sure? Not exactly. Just more of the what, those that try to fan me and expects me to fan them back. Too many of them to go through. And of course, there's this guy that I made a collab with, or at least one of them, called Invasion. Unfortunately, this guy, nowhere to be found. And he no longer is active on the internet that I'm aware of. I don't even know if this guy is still alive or not after he blocked me in one of my other sets just because he thought I was poking around on the friends list on Facebook. And I'm guessing he got annoyed on that. But that was back then where I didn't know any better. Well, Epsilon, if you are seeing this, I just want to let you know that I'm sorry from a while ago. I didn't know any better and uh, yeah. Up to you if you want to contact me or not and make more music or, or something new. I mean, I'd like to know what's been going on on your end and hopefully I can complete the ship over at the game. We got some more stuff here. These are just a bunch of random people here and there. Hey, there's this guy. He calls himself by DJ Stone. I met this guy back in uh, middle school. He has not changed. Well, this profile hasn't changed. This is how he used to look like, or at least at the time. Yeah, I met this guy back when in high school. Actually, middle slash high school days when I lived in Utah. Not sure where he is now or if he's still alive. I mean, I he has he currently has kids and a wife and and I'm only like a few years older than him. Who knows what this guy's been up to? I haven't heard from him in a while. Maybe I might reach him. I don't know if I should, but Moving on, and I'm just going down here, and it looks like I have reached the end of the list. These guys make some really good music. As a matter of fact, this is the first fan that I have. It, it, look, it turns out these guys have been around for a long, long time. Way longer than I, than I have. Favorited one of their songs, and the next thing you know, they fanned me, and uh, haven't heard from, from these guys in a while. It looks like they have new stuff uploaded since I first came, which is which is like six years ago. And that's pretty much about it. So many different fans. And guys, I'm not sure if you if you do if you actually do listen to my stuff, but I'm just letting you know I'm a real person, and I'm also aware of the things going on on this site too. And of course, the stats here not the most impressive or 
at the time of this video. But yeah, this is just what I have so far. Apparently, I happen to be ranked number one here in my hometown. Not my hometown. I mean, what, what would I say is my hometown? I want to get the hell out of here. But I happen to be ranked number one, apparently. But yeah, who knows if that's going to change. I might be ranked something else. So the next time I see some of you people down here, now I know. Well, I don't know if you guys are still real or not. Well, I guess I shall hear or see what else is yet to happen. And who knows, maybe I might get a response back or something else. Or just something in return. I'm just saying. Well, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. And, and if you do, like, comment, share, follow, forward, up, whatever social media you're using. And hopefully I'll hear from you guys or whatever. Criticism, anything really. Till then, this is LR7. And I'm logging out.